Hello out there everyone and welcome to uh, this video. I'm Joey D'Antoni, I'm a Microsoft Data Platform MVP and today we're going to talk about something that got announced at Microsoft Build this week. The Azure SQL, the Azure Postgres SQL team has been working on this new VS Code extension. They've shared it with me earlier so I've, I've had some access to it and I've been playing with it. The project I'm currently on uses uh, Postgres SQL so I've but in putting it through the ringer, doing a lot of various kinds of activity to take advantage of this new extension. It's a wonderful ad, uh, and my favorite part of this is no more PG admin. It's not that PG admin's awful, I just don't think it's particularly good. It's a tool that made me have new appreciation, and I have good friends on the SQL Server Management Studio team. Um, for SQL Server Management Studio and Azure Data Studio and some of the tools that I've used in the past when working with SQL Server, there's just a little bit of wonkiness in how post, uh, PG Admin works and it, it's a little bit frustrating. Let's take a quick look at the extension just in static screen and then we'll go ahead and do a demo of the new extension. Here you can see a couple of things. On the left, I have my database tree. If you've used any of the extensions around SQL Server or other databases, you'll know this looks really familiar. We have a lot of the same things and, and I kind of have it cropped out of this extension, but uh, we can export our results to JSON, we can export them to, to Excel, etc. We also have a query history there on the left-hand side. So let's dive right into this demo and, and show what this extension can do and some of the features it has and how it interacts with Copilot. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this extension. You can see I'm already connected to my local Postgres database, but what I'd like to do is connect to an Azure database. I'm connected through Visual Studio Code into Azure. I can connect via parameters or I can pass in a connection string, but what I'm gonna do here is because I'm connected, I can simply browse Azure and I can navigate to my subscription here. We're gonna, we have a couple of subscriptions, but I'm gonna navigate to the Contoso Limited subscription choose the, the right resource group, which is PG Demos, my location, issue S2, and then navigate to my server. I have two choices for authentication. I can use intra or password authentication, and I'm gonna name my connection. Then I'm gonna test my connection just to make sure it works, but first I need to connect. You'll get this browser screen, it'll say you're connected, you can now cancel. And then we're gonna say test connection and we've saved our connection into Azure. Here you can see I have the AdventureWorks database which is what we're gonna be doing all of these demos in to show you the extension. One of the first things I wanna highlight is the database diagramming tool. It's not perfect, it's not a full replacement for your ER studios of the world, but it's a really nice addition to the extension and it is probably better, it works a little bit better in my opinion than what you see in PG Admin. We get different colors for each schema. This database in particular has five schemas, which makes it a little bit easier for us to uh, gain some understanding. We can zoom in, zoom out. We have a lot, a lot of options here. This database is pretty complicated, but I think in general, just if you wanna get an overview of a database that you have, this is a nice thing to have and some nice tooling. One of the other things I wanna show is just the query editor and, and let's run a basic query. Uh, we're just gonna do a select top 1000 rows, which was one of the options that the extension gives to us here. So we do a select 1000 rows. We can see our query results. I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger here. We have the option to open in a new tab. We can save as a CSV file, as you can see. We can save as JSON, or we can even save as everybody's favorite database, an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, very similar options to what existed in Azure Data Studio. You'll also see we have a query history here. We can rerun the query, we can delete it. You'll note that is saved to the extension. It does not go back to the database. So this is local and in session driven. Uh, but it's your, your query history for the session, which is nice, and it will show you success or failures. I think a little bit later we may see another failure uh, where I screwed something up. We can also connect to the database using psql. I think I'm gonna get an error here. You have to have a workspace folder open. I don't have a folder open in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and open my demos folder in this screen, or, or my Postgres folder. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, through the magic of video, uh, now you can see we're connected to a folder. And now I'm gonna do a DU just to show the users and a DT to show the tables. I don't have any tables in the public schema, so we don't see anything. But if you wanna to connect to psql to use those command line driven tasks, you can easily do that via the extension. Let's see one more really cool thing, and this is Copilot. Uh, Copilot for VS Code in this case. Here we're connected to our database, and 
it can get knowledge of our database by inter interrogating the schema. So I'm gonna ask, can you help me write uh, six, six interesting queries about this database to help me share the health of the AdventureWorks company? Because I, you know, I'm new to this. I know this is their core business database. I wanna understand you know, how profitable they are, who their customers are, what they're selling. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty impressed with the queries it generated. They're not perfect, and I might make some modifications. I would definitely make some modifications in terms of how I would return some of the data back. But I think from a getting started with a new database you haven't seen before, I'm really kind of impressed by the, the queries that this generates for me. It's not perfect, but we start looking at things like profitability, top customers, top products, gross margin over time, sales growth, all of those things um, without me having to do too much to get there. So it's a little bit, it takes a little while. Uh, this video is actually slowed down a little bit, so it takes a little bit longer, but you can see it starts populating the queries and we get total sales and gross profit by year. I can't quite populate yet until it's finished populating. So when I copy, it's not copying until it finishes writing all of the queries, which is why I'm scrolling to the bottom here. Uh, I could be better with Copilot. I'm sure there's probably a, a click I could do to get everything in one screen. But I, I, one of the other things I did was let the inline Copilot add uh, a comment after each query to tell me what the query was, just as a reminder when looking at this visually. And that's, that's just the inline copilot making that recommendation and, and going ahead and adding the comment as soon as I type dash dash. So we're in our third query, we'll, we'll add the other three here. But this gives you a, a, a nice idea of, of what copilot can do for you and help you get started with, with writing code, uh, improve your productivity by giving you meaningful code without having to like necessarily navigate through that database diagram. You can kind of use this to, to start to understand your database. Like I say, I don't think these queries are perfect. There are some of the business questions I would like to ask, but mainly they just don't return exactly the results or the results in a format I might like. And we'll walk through that here and I'll show you uh, where we are because some of these like you might want to improve things a little bit. Uh, here we're going to select uh, total sales and gross profit for each year. This query is uh, not super fast, and I clicked the wrong button there. It's trying to connect to an Azure SQL database I have. Uh, so let's go ahead and click the right button, which is the leftmost button. There we got the right button, and you still see the, the artifact. Sorry about that. Uh, this query takes about 10 seconds to run. It's a little bit slowed down. Uh, for the purpose of this video. Uh, and yes, we couldn't connect to my Microsoft SQL Server database. Ign ignore that. One of the perils of having too many extensions installed. Here we're gonna go ahead and run this query. It's gonna take a few seconds to, to generate this and return results, but uh, this is gonna show us our total sales and gross profit for each year. This database in particular is on a very small instance of Postgres, so it's, I think, a, a B series. It's not super, super fast. So we can see our total sales and gross profit year on year. You can see those, and this is where I was talking about results, those results aren't rounded properly. You might wanna look at fixing that. Likewise, we wanna see our, our top 10 customers. Here's another example. You might not wanna return customer ID. You might wanna join that to a table where you had customer name just to make it a little bit more valuable. Uh, but that's where things like data warehouses are gonna come into play too. I don't even know if we have that data in, in this database. There you can see our top products by category. Bike, bikes are by far our highest. Here we're gonna say our average order value for each sales territory, so we can see central is the highest. And then we're gonna see our year, year on year growth percentage. And I might wanna double check this query because man, uh, 2014 was a really bad year. Negative 54% growth was, is not what we want. Uh, that, that is not the sign of a healthy business. And then finally, let's take a look at uh, the top five products based on gross profit. This is the Visual Studio extension. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, download it, install it in your VS Code, uh, get started. It will be available in the, the, Vis the Postgres Visual Studio extension will be available in the Visual Studio Code mar extension marketplace starting during build. So now you can get it and start working with your Postgres databases.